Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Marie. I make all kinds of videos. Anyways, today I was going to be answering my most asked questions on TikTok because I get asked so many questions on TikTok and I can't reply to all of them, so I thought I'd just make a video talking about the ones that I get asked the most. <laughs> so let's go on TikTok. I screenshotted a bunch of the ones that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so most of my TikTok is all animal related. I'm a vet tech and a groomer, so I post videos about that on TikTok and people seem to like that once. The ones I don't post about animals, no one likes. So I post a lot about animals on TikTok, so most of my questions are about that. All right. How is it working as a vet tech? I'm currently going to college to become one, so if you have any advice or tips, it would be helpful. I get asked this kind of question a lot, how is it working as a vet tech or as a groomer? And I'd say overall it's a fun job, but you have to think every job has parts that are not so fun. So yes, I get to see puppies, dogs, cats, all kinds of animals all day, but at the same time, we put animals to sleep. We see really sick animals. Um, there's a lot of sad parts to my job and there's a lot of work that goes into my job. I'm constantly cleaning poop, pee, vomit all day. I get pooped on, I get anal glands on me. Like, so I get bit, I get scratched. So yeah, it's a good job, but of course there's bad parts to every job. Um, so I love being a vet tech. I love being a groomer. Um, I definitely would recommend doing it as long as, you know, you don't have allergies, you're good at working with animals, you're not afraid to get bit, scratched, okay with blood. Good job. <laughs> um, and then uh, people always ask me if I went to school to be a vet tech and a groomer, like how to become a vet tech or groomer. Um, so to be a vet tech, you can either go to school or I think you can just take a course online and become certified. There's another word, I think, other than certified. Anyways, so you can go the school route and do that. Lots of places won't hire you unless you went to school. So, of course, that's recommended. You'll learn more, whatever. I personally did not go to school. The place I work at does not require an education. They'll teach you on the job. So I started working there when I was 14, actually and I've been working there ever since. I'm almost on seven years working there and I'm a vet tech. I've been working there for a long time. I've gained a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. Um, so that's how I did that. But of course, lots of places won't hire you unless you either have experience or have a certificate. So, you know, it just depends where you wanna work. Um, for a groomer, I went to grooming school in I believe it's different for every state. I'm not totally sure how it works, but uh, in where I live, you don't need to be certified to be a groomer. So I went to school and the schooling, I, I don't know, I just, I did not love it. You had to do like 300 hours to get certified. When I was at 80 hours, I felt like I learned a good amount and they were really holding me back. They were like, oh, you can't groom a dog's head until you have 150 hours. And at 80 hours, I was like, I got a hang of the body. I know what I'm doing. Like, just let me groom the head. And that was right when COVID started. So I stopped going anyway because of COVID. And then I was just like, I'm not going back. Um, where I was working as a vet tech, they, you know, let me groom, obviously. So I just started grooming and I've been doing it for a year now. And I don't know. I really like it. I think I'm pretty good at it. I watched a lot of YouTube videos how, learning how to do it, like what they didn't teach me. Um, if I knew I had a certain animal coming in that day, like a certain breed of dog, I'd watch a YouTube video beforehand just so I got the cut down and stuff like that. I mean, you can definitely learn online. I'd say having someone teach you in the beginning is important. I think I learned a lot from grooming school and I definitely recommend going to grooming school, but I don't know. I didn't. I left. <laughs> so I've been grooming on my own now for a year. I think I'm doing pretty good. I get better every day, you know. I got kind of off topic. Um, <laughs> let's answer some more questions 
please elaborate more on the educational path and career. Did you start off by volunteering at a clinic? So I just kind of answered that, but what a lot of people who work at the same place I work at did was they did start off volunteering. They'd volunteer for like six months or a year and then eventually we'd hire them as maybe a kennel person or a receptionist and then they would work their way to a technician. Again, it does completely depend on where you're trying to work. You know, some clinics are super strict. You have to have a certificate. You have to be a certified vet tech. I don't even, I don't know if that's the right word. I feel like there's a different word other than certified. Anyways, lots of places are very strict with stuff like that. Other places are more lenient. The place we've been working at, the doctor's been working there for 30 plus years. Um, he's one of, I guess, the old vets I'd say um so he's very used to his ways like he does things certain ways and it works for him you know so yeah <laughs> all right let's find some more questions um I know you're around animals at work but is there another reason why you are not wearing a mask when I'm in the grooming room it's just me and animals that's all that's in there just me and some animals animals cannot give COVID to humans animals cannot get COVID no matter like there is um, we do vaccinate animals for corona so there is a coronavirus but it's their own strand they can't give it to humans we can't give it to them and we've been vaccinating animals for corona for years it's not something that's new um, so I feel no need to wear mask around animals um, I find the mask uncomfortable after a while it like hurts my jaw because I have to like keep my face in a certain position for it to stay on I don't know I've tried wearing different masks I just don't like wearing masks. I, I really don't. When I'm around clients, obviously I put it on. And I know there is groomer's lung. Um, I don't take it seriously, to be honest. I probably should. I probably should wear a mask while like blow drying and stuff, but I don't. It's my health, you know, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> Oh, I have a miniature snazzer. So you cut the hair before you give them a bath. Yeah, lots of people ask about like my routine of how I um, groom. I normally cut the dog to get mo the hair off. So that way after the bath when I'm blow drying them, there's less hair to dry and the dry time is cut down. So I'll cut all the hair off, give them a bath. Then after the bath, after they're dry, I go back and I'll like go over it and do all my scissoring work after the bath. Um, Can you explain why the bottom left so long I know I've been seeing a lot okay so this person basically I posted a video of me grooming a schnauzer puppy I'll put a photo right here super cute puppy love that dog anyways um lots of people were asking about the cut of the dog and why the legs were left long that's just how schnauzers are cut if you look up like um show schnau it's like a tongue twister show snout schnauzers um you'll see the legs are always left long the legs in the bottom of the stomach that's just it's their breed cut all breeds have different cuts that they do like how there's like a poodle cut and you see the poodles with like the poopy tails and yeah anyways this is just how schnauzers get cut so that's why the bottom of the legs were left long and of course the owner can if the owner doesn't want a schnauzer cut they can be like just shave the dog down i don't want the legs cut you know um people ask if you have to groom it that way no you do whatever the owner wants um when I'm sedating cats, I get lots of questions about the eyes being open, which I did address in one of my TikToks, but I just wanted to put it here real quick. Um, this lady asked, why do you not close your eyes for her? When animals are sedated, you can't close their eyes. They don't have eyelids like humans. You can't just like put your hand over and their eye closed. No, their eyes are going to be open. The eyes stay open all the time when you euthanize your pet. And when, a, when an animal's dead, their eyes are open. Like lots of people, like we put their pets to sleep and then they're like, can we close our eyes? No. I'm sorry, I, like I know it's kind of creepy and I wish we could, but we can't, we can't, like their eyes stay open. Can you address not monitoring vitals? I talked about this in a recent TikTok as well because I get so many comments on that when I do sedate grooms. Our clinic has been doing things the same way for 30 plus years. It's worked for us, we haven't had any like issues. Um, we have a doctor there, he gives an injection to the animal that sedates the animal. It only keeps the animal sedated for like probably it depends on the animal, but I'd say 10 to 20 minutes. It doesn't, it's not long. I'm a vet tech. I monitor the animal's vitals. The doctor normally comes in and checks on the animal and that's how we do things. Um, it's just long enough for me to be able to groom and bathe the cat real quick. And that's all the time we need. And it works out well. We normally do blood work to make sure the animal can break down the anesthetic. And yeah, that's 
and it's how we do things and it's always worked um there's no laws against how we do things we don't have animals dying all the time so it works for us all clinics do things differently some clinics are super high tech and i'm sure vet tech who's from a super high tech clinic who watches my videos it's like what are they doing but that's just because they know they're used to something different everyone does things differently and different ways work for different people you know um so i think those are all the main like animal related questions i'm gonna see if i can find any more like other questions give me a minute oh another thing i get a lot is people asking about mats i always say that the pet has mats so we have to shave them one mats are painful to take out in animals it's like a giant knot in your hair and it hurts to take out um it's too big to where you can brush it out you can't brush it out sometimes you can kind of pull them out but again it hurts the animal so um if an animal has, is covered in mats you want to sedate them unless it's like the nicest animal in the world and it will just tolerate the pain um so we sedate them for that and then also i don't know people are always asking me like why can't you just brush them out it's to the point where you can't brush it out like i it's the only option is shaving and lots of owners don't understand that as well they'll bring their animal in and they'll be like yeah there's a couple mats but i don't want them shaved all the way down i just want them like a trim just like a half an inch off and i'm like ma'am i have to shave your pet down there's no other option like your animals covered in mats the only way to get rid of them is to shave them down so um i think a lot of people don't understand that so i hope this helps some people i know i get so many questions about this stuff on tiktok if you guys have more questions ask below i'd love to make more videos like these um just sit down and talk with you guys answer some questions so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching i'd love if you guys would subscribe let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see i'm kind of just posting a mixture of everything right now i really love fashion videos i love fashion but i have None of my followers care about that. They either care about animals or like they like my vlogs and stuff, but no one likes any of my fashion videos anyway, <laughs> which is what I want to post. Um, but whatever, let me know what you guys want to see and I'll do it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, maybe. Bye.